Hey guys, what do you think of the new shades? They're, well, they're, they're not actually new shades. Um, these are what I wear when I'm brazing or, or uh, using a torch. And uh, today I think qualifies for that. I finally got my Fresnel lens put together. And we'll show you a picture of it from up here. It's uh, not very well put together. I just slapped it together real quick. But uh, a couple pieces of 2x2 two two with uh, a piece cut down the middle. Hold the frame, hold the lens in. And I just got it sitting up on an old I-beam there and a, a roller. It's the same roller as this one right here. Uh, and then I put this guy in here just to see where the sun was coming from. Oh, I can adjust it if I need to. And what we're doing is we're cooking some pop cans. Now I'm sure that's a little bright for you. I can't really tell with these glasses on. It's a little bright for me, that's why I'm wearing them. If we give that a few seconds, actually we'll take these off. I might be able to put this in front here. Eh, it's not a great view, but it's a little better, I think. That's, that's like super bright for me. But, uh, doesn't really do well on the pop cans. I was hoping to be able to process some of these cans without spending tons of money on propane. I still might figure out a way to do that. And I have another TV with another lens that I'm going to take apart. So, we'll figure out that, maybe. Hopefully. But, I figured I could give you guys a look at something else if I take this off I've got here a piece of aluminum a uh, piece of steel just some bent steel I don't know what it was from but some sort of bracket and then a piece of scrap wood and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the metal in here and find out the focal point which is right about there and we slide the wood in now, am I missing the focal point there we go I was about two, three inches too high and as you can see heating up the wood quite nicely. I'm getting a face full of smoke over here. But it's enough to scorch a piece of wood in a few seconds. Uh, I think my main problem with the pop cans is that... Uh, uh, let's slide this over a little bit. I gotta remember to keep my hands out of there. Uh, I think my main problem with the pop cans is as soon as the 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 varnish on the outside, the ink burns off, um, the aluminum is incredibly reflective, um, near mirror quality, uh, as you can see by this. Where's my finger? There it is. By this can here, it's glowing. I just got a text message. But uh, let's see if I can do this for you again. Yeah, see, almost all of that ink is burned off. And it's basically reflecting the light that hits it. But uh, I can show you another way to see how hot this is.
I've got ramps here to drive my truck up on if I needed to do any work underneath them. They were sitting out a couple days ago and they got a little water in them. So, let me just grab this. And you can see over here where the most of the, uh, the uh, heat is. It's actually boiling that water off. Let's see if I can get this in a better spot. Yeah, right about there is my prime spot. As the sun goes down, this gets a little harder and harder to do. But that's my Fresnel lens for now. Um, I'm going to keep testing this, I think, because it's... Oh, it's probably about 4.30 now. Um, the sun is is gone beyond its optimum point. I need to get out here at like 11 o'clock and start working at 11 o'clock. Um, so that I'm I'm ready for noon when the sun should be at it, like directly overhead at its most optimal point. But, uh, yeah, that's the Fresnel lens. Um, Fairly simple build if you can find a TV. Uh, I was looking for one for nearly two years and ended up with two in uh, about a month. So, uh, you guys, have yourselves a good day.